<laughs> ah, that's funny. All right, welcome to episode one forty three of those millennials podcast. I was really gonna get it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was. A, that's why I always write it down. I am your humble, grateful, extremely thankful host, K the Classic. I'm here with my nearest and dearest. My boys are friends of real life. Uh, Jesse's here is fucking up my intro. Jesse, how you doing? How you feeling? How's your mental health? How's your pockets? How's your DMs, brother? How you feeling? I'm good, man. Uh, I got some good news. Okay. Uh, I got cast in a play. Uh, hey! Uh, Editor, please add an applause. Your boy's going to be out for a month, probably. We'll see how the, the, you know, I'll jump on when I can, but we'll see how the, you know, rehearsal schedule goes. But Wait, wait, uh, shout out the name of the play, man. What's, what you doing? Uh, it's called The Human Comedy. Uh, it's okay. not really, like, it's not a published show. So this, uh, the producer wrote it, so they're producing it and everything. So it's, you still it's show some show. love. Give it some name, brother. Come everything, on. Uh, you know, That's baller. Yeah, definitely. So I got, you know, I got some cool things coming up. So just wanted to put that out there in case, you know, where Jesse at? And it's going to be like, I, you know, I'm doing my job. I used to always tell Jesse when he made it big that, like, give me a job. Like, if you want me to be your gourmet chef, like, just train me, send me somewhere to get, like, get my, you know, my chef license or be your bodyguard or or just. Nah, you're going to be Mr. Bitley. <laughs> I'm definitely not holding nobody's uh, fucking uh, umbrella. Uh, Clips is here. Clips is back. Welcome back, Clips. How's your mental health? How's your pockets? How's your DMs? Um, well, <laughs> not five grand worth of D- DM money. Right now. <laughs> Don't spoil it, but we gonna get on that. We gonna get on that one. We gonna get on that one. Uh, but I'm good. No, but I'm good. I'm chilling, man. <laughs> that's, that's what I like to hear, man. Uh, as always, we like to thank you guys for listening to the podcast. We appreciate you guys, everybody that watches on, on YouTube, uh, our Spotify listenership. If you listen on Apple and all the other um, oh, Google podcasts and all the other freaking podcast listings platforms that we're on that I don't know the name of that I always reach out to the email. Shout out to you guys. We love you. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for checking us out. Uh means a lot to all of us that you guys give us the time in the day. Um. Also, uh, obviously, Rail's not here. Um, it's not a coincidence that he's not here after his Cowboys lost, after he declared them winning it all and going to beat. <laughs> I just wanted to put that out here. It's, just, it's, not, a, it's, it's not a coincidence. Um, but uh, Editor Q. Stephen A. Smith laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't even talk shit about them. Like they was harsh to them Cowboys this week. I they, they, it, they, they was, it was, and they competed. I was mad. I, I, I posted in my little DM uh, little thing. I was mad at the little stupid videos of Cowboy fans breaking TV. I'm sick of that trend. Stop showing people That's breaking their TVs. I, I hate it. My thing is this. That's so like knew, 2015. We're going to talk about this. But if y'all knew at the 45 second mark when you had to drive down the film, <laughs> you knew it wasn't going to happen. So what you breaking your TV for? That shit made you me sick. Some sort of and and I would just be like, happen. it's your TV. Like, you yeah. know what? You know what? Be what, what impress me? Exactly. You know what would impress me if you guys do want to do break TVs? Watch the game at a Best Buy and then go wrong and then punch a TV. <laughs> I'm not no, telling you guys to. Check those TVs over. <laughs> that's if y'all want to impress me, that's what y'all should do. Go to Best or, Buy while watching or, the game and, or, and punch a TV. No, I, I or break your TV and then walk into the Best Buy and I want to see all of this. You go just grab another <laughs> And walk right out. Just, right. just. They never that. show no, that video. No. Them breaking their TV and immediately walk in the Best Buy. <laughs> show they that video. They should take all the TVs to uh, to the stadium. Just drop them off in the stadium <laughs> <laughs> and burn them like That'd jerseys. And burn them like jerseys. Okay, you know, this is gonna be a a graveyard for <laughs> failure. That shit. Is, that shit is mad annoying. Um, I will I, say that. That uh, that is that I, I guess is a TikTok video when they're doing the little boy court. He's like, oh, he didn't want to go with his mom. He didn't want to go with his dad. Didn't want to go with his uh. Didn't want to go with his grandparents. <laughs> he went with the Cowboys because they never whoop anybody. <laughs> or they never beat anybody. You never seen this? You I did not see this. Man, oh. look, I, I'm not kicking real while uh, he's down. I'm not doing uh, that. I had to. No, nah, I'm not going. To I'm do that. sending. I'm gonna shoot it to you right now. I know when uh, you when you eventually listen to this, just remind, just letting you know, I was trying to move on while Jesse was trying to kick you while you down. I wasn't. I'm you trying to move though. on. 
Jesse, um, Stefan Diggs uh, tweets. You want to talk about your man before we get well, to that list? Yeah. I mean, we could do that too. Look, the Bills didn't show. I mean, I guess we're going to do our football gonna, talk now. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, football now. We're so we're in, we're in, right, oh, I, we're, I'll, we're, I'll say this. Um, the Bills didn't show up. I'm on Stefan's side. Like, I'm, I'm tired of seeing them come. This is the third year in a row. And, you know, you can say whatever you want about that that uh, Kansas City team. The third year in a row where the team is just flat in their most important game. Like, this is a – and you're at home. It just seemed like you guys didn't – they didn't have the energy. They didn't have – and then, on, all right, team is flat. And then the defense makes no adjustments. Like, nothing. They, this second year in a row – no adjustments. They're just gashing us in the middle the same exact way Kansas City was doing it last year. The good thing, the lucky thing we had last year was that Kansas City had a bad defense. So we was able to get back into the game. But it was like, it was ugly to watch. But Stefan Diggs in particular, like he wants to win. Like he, I, they said what he was saying, which if you, if you watch it, it makes sense. He's like, how? Like, how is this happening again? People are, the thing is this assumption from the booth all the way up there, they're like, well, Stefan Diggs is get- and Josh Allen have problems. But it's literally, if you watch him, you know, McKenzie said he's like, he's just saying how, like, why, what, what, what's going on? And I don't, I don't like that he just rolled out like after the game, like, or he quickly left. But it's just one of those things when you upset. I, I get it because it's one of those things you feel like you're powerless, and when, especially when you're a wide receiver, you're right. Like, you're literally relying on another person we to, got our to ass, get you we involved. Got, we got our ass whooped. That's that's it. Changes yeah. need to happen on, in the coaching staff. Changes need to happen. Now, now um, America, forgive me, but could it have been possibly because they didn't have a heart? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm. All right, then moving on. Moving yeah, on, Ken. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and move on on that one. <laughs> <laughs> moving on, along, moving one. along. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. Right I don't know how we just jumped. Well, I mean, we just jumped to football because that's kind of what just happened because we was talking about rail. But uh, um, first up top, obviously, we're recording this on Thursday night. Um, today is three years since the the passing of the late great Kobe Bean Bryant. Um. Uh, as I and you know, it's it's it, it's crazy because now we get three of these days a, a year because we get his birthday, we get Mamba Day, and we get the actual day that he actually passed. We so we literally get hit in the head with three days of remembrance um, of Kobe, which you know I'm fine with, but it just you know it still doesn't quite feel real to a lot of people's, and obviously it just goes without saying thoughts prayers, condolences to Vanessa and the family and, and all the other victims that was lost in the helicopter crash. Yeah, but for it, me, go ahead, go ahead, it Jeff. is more of we acknowledge the family, other people that like died. Like, I can, because Kobe, we do uh, celebrate yeah. those other days for Kobe, recognize him for those other days. Yeah. I do feel like if we're going to talk about it on this day, we, we still have to recognize those other families and it's unfortunate that you know they lost a lot there's people that there's a girl that lost her parents both her parents on there there's you know a, a whole family was lost on there so it's mm-hmm. like one of those things um that i feel like today as solemn as it is thinking of kobe and Gigi, it's we should we can give remember everybody on the helicopter yeah. yep i agree with that clutch no, hundred percent. No, I would I would say to follow up on that, you know, um all all of those families and 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 members of those teams, right? Like they are forever a part of the mamba mentality, you know. Um you know, we are supposed to be at at a very elite form when we think of the mamba mentality. Then we also are supposed to make sure that we're fearless for every day because we don't know what the next day is going to bring. Right. Um, and so for all of those families and for, you know, the Bryants, you know, I always, I always want to make sure that they are always lifted up on this day. Like this is a day to lift up more than it is to just remember 
the the fame of folks where all these people at their core are humans so we still need to acknowledge them as that so it's yeah. it's it's forever going to be a beautiful day even even though it ended in such terrible tragedy because we get to remember a lot of folks who we feel like are important right um one of my new fa favorite pa I don't, and we don't have to stay on this for too long one of my new favorite pastimes is just going and watching old kobe interviews on whatever platform he's done it's like it's become one of my things because so one of my things on YouTube, which anybody that knows me, I'll go back and just watch uh, highlights of players like T-Mac, you know, Dwayne Wade or whoever, and I'll just watch it. But now I've added um, watching interviews of, 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 of players and Kobe literally a lot of times where if I don't have enough time to do something, well, you know, when you get in those moments and you're like, I only got 10 minutes before I actually have to do something. So I'll just I'll pop on an interview or something. So that's like one of my new favorite pastimes um all right so i think i should start with not list before we actually get to actual football again or um Ooh. all right so uh for those who aren't hip and who are those who are new here first of all welcome i always like to welcome you guys if you're new here thank you for stopping by we appreciate you guys um the not list is just how it sounds uh it's a list compiled of stuff that we are not talking about but honestly we end up do talking about them because it's just a clever way for us to talk about them um all right so starting off with the not list number one on the not list uh and literally on my paper it says go to phone <laughs> that's fine I, I literally do this to myself you follow the directions well yeah i'm stupid uh kwame brown came with uh, a really uh Tell me what you guys think of this quote by Kwame Brown. If those who are, I always, I always feel like I need to do this for for those who don't know who Kwame Brown is. He is and was an NBA player that played for the Washington Wizards, Los Angeles Lakers, and a, a couple more teams that don't matter. But he was supposed he was most prominent for those two teams. Uh, he wasn't really an awesome pro, but anyway, his quote is, "I think it was better being a bus." LeBron can't do what I do. They take pictures of him everywhere he goes. I was a bus and ain't nobody take pictures of me anywhere I went. Now, what is <laughs> Jesse, why you shaking your head? Uh... <laughs> Look. <laughs> All right, so I saw it like I saw it on, on Instagram. And it's like, what where was he getting interviewed? No, he has his own show. I think he was talking about his own show. He was getting interviewed? No, I think it was an interview. He has his own show on he has his own yeah. podcast. I just he, don't know where it's at. He was on the pivot. Yeah. yeah. Was pivot. it on the pivot? Here we go. He was talking to yeah, he was talking to somebody. So they asked him that question. Okay. Look, there's there's so many facets to this. Because I, I I like read people's comments and first thing, he's right though. And I'm just like, yo, like <laughs> you do understand. <laughs> He compared himself to LeBron. Like, I'm pretty sure there's hundreds of players. I'm sure Larry like, Hughes gets him. He could just walk around perfectly fine. Just walk around. Like, <laughs> no, the there's the reason why he mentioned LeBron. Because that's the only other GOAT he didn't play with. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Big brain. Because yeah, I'm like, yeah. Uh, yeah, in a sense, yes, you're right. You can, you can feel free, but you could have been a star. Like, Le there's a lot of things LeBron did to increase his stardom. Like that that's why. Like, but if LeBron wanted to be a chill dude like Kawhi, you don't compare yourself to Kawhi. That's quite a, <laughs> I, Kawhi don't be outside. Kawhi strikes me as a dude that sits in his Kawhi. compound and he sends people to do everything. Yo, yeah, I want some popcorn. Like you could Go do buy me some popcorn. Lot, and it's just like Kawhi, Kawhi live his life. Like you act like so when you sit there and be like, I could have Nobody's saying you were going to be the level of LeBron. That was never talked about. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't this guy that was like, "Oh, he's a must get." It was still confusing when people when Michael Jordan chose you. That's why I don't see when people when when people when people wonder why the Hornets are so bad. Like Le Jordan, everybody's ghost thought Kwame was a can't miss prospect, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, I mean, but I, I just, he wasn't the I'm only one that he was. He, he wasn't the only one that thought Kwame Brown was canvas. So I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna shoot him some bail. I'm gonna shoot him a little. And bit. You're right. You're right. But I'm just like so to do that comparison and for people to be like he's right though. It's like, dude, 
Also, LeBron can literally do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> you're, you're also forgetting that part. LeBron can do whatever he wants. LeBron doesn't, it's like, oh, I have to take photos? I also don't have to take photos. He can easily say, I don't want to take photos. Because he anywhere he goes, he has like four bodyguards with him. Exactly. Anyway. He doesn't have to do anything. It's a choice at the end of the day. And it's, you know what I mean? He, he, I'll let y'all go. <laughs> You know, maybe maybe it's because Kwame's been getting a lot of, hey, you're Kwame Brown, you know. So now he's, now he's, no, nah. That just, I just, I honestly feel like, oh, you're tall. Did you used to play basketball? I think it's a lot of that. No, Kev, that's the thing. We do know who If you watch the NBA, you do know who Kwame Brown is. No, sure. Nobody like Kwame. I'm talking did. about I'm talking about people that didn't. I'm talking about people that didn't. Kwame is Kwame's like, talking about I I'm get to go live on like, a farm. Regular people house. don't like if John Stockton was just John Stockton going Whole Foods and nobody know who he is unless you're an NBA fan. Yeah. He, and he's gonna show up with his six one. His, his, <laughs> He gonna show up in that. What what did uh, Charles say? He showed up to the to the stadium with a with a minivan full of kids. Yeah, and, and, like you not gonna know who John Stockton is. He's he's fine. Look, John Stockton played in Utah. <laughs> Bobby played in L.A. <laughs> like, we know who you Fair are. Enough. Yes. <laughs> well, if on the other side of that, if Jordan Farmer, no, nah, not Jordan Farmer. Jordan Farmer, he, 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 legend, bro. No. Um, Lamar said it the other day and he was in another interview. Um, and he was like, just once you play in a place like LA, you don't have the luxury of not being known. Exactly. Kendall anyway. Marshall could walk around just fine. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna not just bring up bad. I'm gonna just bring up bad Laker point guards. Anyway. Uh <laughs> don't you dare uh, taste smush. No, I was I was thinking about smush, but he's a referee now. Anyway. Um so he hey, can't be hey, seen in whoa. public. What you gotta get? What you gotta get? To refs, bro. No, uh, a, a lot. A lot. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Number two. Recreation. Number two. Oh, my bad. Number two on the not list. Uh, this has been reported. It's not in concrete yet, but this. Hopefully, this is. Uh, this does make sense though, because of um, Rihanna and ASAP going to get awards at the Grammys. But it's been reported that Jay Z is reportedly going to perform at this year's Grammys. This will be Jay-Z, Jay-Z's we first award it. show. Huh? I thought we were supposed to be boycotting this. No, we're not. Um, not if Rihanna wins anyway. Uh, this, well, this... Okay. I love you, Rihanna. <laughs> I think this that's the only reason jay is doing it. This will be Jay-Z's first award show performing in years as he rarely performs at award shows. His previously He previously declined the, to perform at the 2018 Grammys despite leading the field in nominations with eight for 444. So I think that's fly, but like I said, like Jesse said, he hit the nail on the head. I think it's because of Rihanna's present and her chance to win for the um, Wakanda Forever uh, song for the soundtrack that she's nominated mm-hmm. for. Lift yes. me up. All right, that's enough. Um, I'm ready for her to. I'm ready for her to perform at the Super Bowl, though. You know, yeah, people say, don't make Stephen A. that because he made same. some harsh yeah, comments yeah, about her people, performing. People make a big deal out of anything nowadays. <laughs> what he said wasn't. Never mind. I don't want. I don't want. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a little. It was just a little too out of pocket because the way he, he was saying. Yeah, but he. How have, how have you guys ever heard he, Stephen A. Smith talk before? Period. Well, yeah, you're right. But he was saying it as if she doesn't have star power, mm. like like that she can't just get up there and and perform. She's a great performer. Hundred percent. Like. Yeah, I don't know. He was he was just wrong. That's all. And again, Rihanna, if you're listening to this, we need tickets to the Super Bowl. So. <laughs> uh, I was looking forward to going to Arizona. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. <laughs> uh, number three on the not list. Um, reportedly. This is some TMZ shit, and I hate doing this, but this is kind of big. This is this is a big enough deal for me to care. Um, oh. Tom Brady was spotted looking at private schools in Miami with his kids. So Miami Dolphins quarterback soon on the way for Tom Brady? Question mark. Nothing stopping them now. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't seem like the 
the landing the spot, best right? landing spot for him. Mm-hmm. Um, because if Tua had three concussions, what is he? <laughs> that, yeah, that offensive yeah. line was terrible. You know what? I didn't, it's true. I didn't think about if, it if a really good mobile quarterback <laughs> goes over there and get concussions. I didn't think about it that way. You're right. Look yeah, it. you're 100 percent right. Tom yeah. Brady did not want to get hit in that last game. Yeah. I, I don't see them no. fixing that. But He's but but the thing that worked a bit for that offense is getting the ball out quick. Tom Brady, does, he still does that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, because he's the yeah, king. Boy, of, he, he's king of the fucking like two yard pass. pass. But that's all Tyreek like almost needs. a thousand passes for nothing. <laughs> that's all Tyreek needs is two yards. That's true. But no, yeah. no, no, no. Debo and, and McCaffrey only need about a few yards. Tyreek needs about four. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Waddle, oh, yeah. Waddle too. Waddle, that, that motherfucker. Yeah. Nice, bro. They have great receiving core over yeah. there, I guess. Um, I mean, just their first just, two. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's why I said I guess. That's why I said I guess. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't go too far. <laughs> uh, number four on the not list, uh, and this is a trend that's been going on in hip hop for uh, like she's uh, she's like the like the last I want to say like four like at least four or five years or so. Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber sells his entire catalog for two hundred million dollars. Um, do you guys think that's uh, high enough for his for him Wait, to sell his Kevin. catalog? Yeah, Kev, Mister Classic, did you say this is a trend in hip hop and then tell me that Justin that Bieber? Just oh, my bad. <laughs> this is a, I meant to say a trend in music. I meant to say a trend in music. I apologize. You know, it's just crazy too because I said hip hop. And the first person I thought of was obviously uh, I was thinking of other people, but I was thinking of Justin. Oh, yeah, so his, Justin reportedly wasn't so his. heard that one time. Justin did <laughs> use MLK yeah, in one of his albums, <laughs> man. <laughs> he did use the MLK in one of his albums, so it is culture, man. Don't oh, do that. To, don't do that to Beefs. Um, oh man! But um, 200, 200 million for for his catalog. I well, think that's well, kind of light. I think that's light. No, it's but, it's light. For him, not, that's super dumb. I think light. that's light. I think that's light. Well, I'll say this. And I'm not trying to disrespect at all. Um, well, Baby but, seems like it's made more than that. No, oh. he's he's definitely made more than that. I think it's the question of how long lasting is his music. Mm. That's the question, because that's that's mm. and so I'm not saying it's not. I'm definitely it is. It, you know, his catalog is his catalog. But you know, people have plenty have done this. This is actually not a new. It's really not new, you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Beatles sold their catalog. You know, Michael Jackson. It was known Michael Jackson owned that for the longest. Uh, mm-hmm. Was it Michael? I think, mm, but something like that. Um, well, I think you're right with the longevity of his his music, right? Mm-hmm. But again, it's hard when he's such a like kid sensation. Mm-hmm. And still successful artists. I don't think he's not successful. I think it's too soon for him to sell his catalog. I agree. I well, agree. that's why I'm saying that, I think the I trend, saying. the trend of, of from what I've understand of listening to other stuff, to people talk about it and stuff. They just like they when they buy the, their catalog, they're only buying what you made that today, like from yeah, your past. Nothing, you can still nothing, make nothing, new nothing. stuff and you know yeah, make a whole bunch of bread. So yeah, it's just like nothing. which so. he sell. Which keep in mind. A lot of that he doesn't actually because I, I think Dr. Dre's that he when it was reported that Dr. Dre sold his catalog, I think it was around two hundred dollars. Like that's real life for Dr. Dre. It should be. Uh, I thought it was more. Four hundred. Oh, no, it's like, it it like two hundred, three hundred. It's like, like two hundred, three hundred. I was like, Dre it, should be in like the sixes and some. If if we going off what we feel like is Dre's catalog, it should be high. You got to keep it. You got to keep in mind. A lot of them don't own. Own. I, I I think uh, Dre owns. I think Dre owned. No, uh, it, up to a point. Yeah. Dre didn't own like all the NWA. I don't know if he bought it back, but all that NWA know. stuff, even on Death Row. Maybe Q got that it. Stuff, Maybe he, Q got it. Yeah. You know, I know. I know Snoop owns Death Row, and he he bought right. all that stuff. But it's like a lot of you know. You never know. I don't know it. I'm just saying, like you know, a lot of these. It's it's. So when they're selling their catalog, they're really just so selling the stake they own of the like the, the part of their if I make sense. Okay. Um you have something to add clips or no? You good? 
No, I was just saying true. I mean, I guess I guess it's the whole ploy of what y'all are saying is uh, the the catalog versus the masters, right? Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. The, right. Like Dre could be selling his catalog, but keeping his masters for his specific thing. I don't. I, if we know how that's being broken down, then I think that's different for what we're trying to figure out. Yeah. Right? But I always want to ride on the side of the artist keeping their masters if they wrote the song. Justin, now that we're saying that, he probably had a lot of people write songs for him. Yep, hundred percent. And there's a bunch of songs that now, now thinking back, like I'm like, damn, like uh, there's a song called "All That Matters" that he has. Mm-hmm. I know some nigga wrote that song. <laughs> it, was like, it was it was it was meant to be sung by a black person. Just if you listen to the song, you're like, oh wow. If, if reason it. It was super popular. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm definitely about to listen to that. Freaking stupid. <laughs> um, all right, last on the not list. Um, so uh, last week, uh, the biggest artist, arguably on the planet, Drizzle Drake, uh, was in New York in Harlem and did a two day appreciation tour i guess i do a concert at the at the american apollo theater with the world famous apollo theater um where it was a lot of industry people and a lot of uh obviously celebrity people there that perform he performed some of it a lot of his b-side stuff uh some a-side stuff because like a lot of people that were talking about it made it seem like he performed all b-sides but um was not uh, all b-sides so i'm gonna read some of this track list and uh before you hopped on just me and clips was talking about this but i would have loved to see some of these songs perform live so uh obviously if you for those who don't know apollo is a very very small venue it's uh if i if i remember correctly it's it's it doesn't seat more than like four thousand. i think it's it's in the four or five famous venue yeah very famous venue the career that's make it break your career right um so he performed he started off with over my dead body which i would have loved to hear that in person and off the rip which is a b-side right i mean it's a it's 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 a it starts his album but it's a b-side uh wu-tang clang forever wu-tang forever trust issues which i was just playing right now trust just jesse's making these faces what's wrong with wu-tang forever Oh, that's not a good song. <laughs> that's just not a good song. It's not a good song. I hate this thing of Jesse, man. I swear <laughs> no, to God. Anyway. It's not a good song. It is a good song. Um, Maybe he should have he should have just named it It's Yours, and that would have felt yeah. better. That, okay, there's that part, because it really is, it does really piss me off that he named it Wu-Tang Forever, but it's also That's like, what it is. It's just the name of the song. But it's also just not a good song. Like, it's Love like, of disrespect. Look, if you're going to name it Wu-Tang, you got to come with Wu-Tang shit. <laughs> you know, just sit there. You got to hear some Wah! You don't do uh, the exact opposite of Wu Tang shit. <laughs> you don't do the opposite. All right, so shit. he performed. It's it's a, it's like forty two songs, but I'll, I'll try to read them, speed them as fast. Uh, Over my dead body, Wu Tang forever, trust issues, Marvin's room, pss, say something, uh, feel no ways, practice jaded. Oh, God, here, jaded. Marvin's room is an A side. Uh, right, Marvin, that's what I'm saying. Marvin Marvin's room's A side. But a lot of the first, the, again, this is where it's. I'm like, okay, this is not B sides. This is a slaps. Wait, uh, jungle is always could be jungle, an A side. Jungle is a C side. I'm jungle is a C side. I don't even remember oh, what no, it's on. Wait, what'd you say, clips? I was saying, feel no ways. I think should be an A side song. If feel no ways off of views, like hmm. what? What is? Yeah, That's true. That's I don't true. know. Yeah. That's well, say, say something in trust issues or B sides, right? Yeah. Oh, that Timbaland. That Timbaland track Those is that is that his to, for us to even determine jaded is jaded is i mean jaded is on one of his hated most hated albums right well no now i guess now it's not one of his most hated albums it's scorpion like the second disc of scorpion people don't like jaded like that yeah uh so yeah. i would consider that like a seaside jungle karaoke which i know a lot of people love best i ever have over now this is where he gets to the slaps uh, best I ever had over headlines. Hell fucking yeah. Uh, hell yeah, fucking right. I'm sorry. Started from the bottom. I'm on one. No mm-hmm. friends. Energy. Know yourself. Nonstop. God's plan. Laugh now. Cry letter. Later. Hold on. We're going home. Controller. One dance. 
in my feelings, passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit. A lot of A side. What are people talking about? That's what I'm remember. saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Way too sexy. Also, uh, how long was this concert? Wait for you. It was long. Wait for you. Massive. Uh, calling my name. Sticky. Uh, Yerba's heartbreak. I really mean it with the diplomats. Diplomat uh, anthem because obviously this is when Dip- Dipset came out. Um, oh, we I was like, he's not on that song. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This is when Dip- this is Dip- when Dipset came out. Uh, Rich Flex, Privileged Rappers with 21. This is when 21 came out. Spin by You, Jimmy Cooks, uh, Knife Talk with 21. Then he ended with Legend. Now, uh, again, like I said, that was a lot of A side. Like the, the, a lot of people tried to make it seem like it was like a whole B side concert, which I, and this is just the fan in me. I would love for like it don't have to be MTV. And I, I don't know if Drake has ever has Drake ever done a Tiny Desk. He hasn't, huh? Uh, remember, he did the fake one with him at 21. Yeah, he did. On the yeah. Soul. yeah, they yeah. did the spoof. Yeah, the so spoof. maybe not a tiny desk, maybe an MTV unplugged. That's what if Drake was to do like an MTV plug situation with B sides, I think that would be it. But anyway, um, I thought that was fly. And this prompted me to ask you guys some questions. I know you guys are not, uh, 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 I didn't set you guys up for this, so this is a fail on me. What Drake okay. lyrics? Well, Je- Je- Jesse might be. Uh, what Drake lyrics lives rent free in your head? Like what Drake? It, not necessarily songs, but like what Drake lyrics lives rent free in your head to where like you find yourself just saying them. And I can go off rip because uh, so it's literally one off of Dead Body that um, I thought I just <laughs> and it's not even the most hardest line. It, I just find even when I heard it uh, initially, I just thought it was clever when he says, "Shout out to Asian girls, let the light dim sum," just because dim sum's a food. Like I just, I just thought it was a clever way to, to say dim sum. I just because like, <laughs> a lot of people didn't know that that was an Asian food. You had to like really, you had to eat that kind of food if to know what that is. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> no. Some people don't eat Asian food like that. So people didn't know. I just thought it was, I thought it was a clever way. So if you guys have, if you guys don't have nothing that's cool like that, but I just, I feel uh, like Drake has a lot of verse song like lyrics that just lives rent rent free in a lot of people's heads. So I put you on the like spot. I'm sorry. Verse. I don't have a specific verse. Like there, no. there are like songs or tunes that I like. I know. Uh, I know my girl really likes uh, mob ties and just how at the beginning of the mob ties where it says, I'm sick of you niggas, so hire some help, get rid of you niggas. <laughs> she, she just loves like, I'm sick of you niggas. <laughs> hire some help, get rid of you niggas. Um, but yeah, if y'all don't have any other ones, then. Um, um, now it's like blanking on me, but it's that uh, this is going to date me on like, or what Drake I listen to. Um, <laughs> that, um, uh, here it comes. Here comes best I ever had, Drake, because that's the only time Jesse listened to him. I listen, hey. to, <laughs> I listen to all the Drake. Well, except his most recent. Um, okay. uh, it's on. Um, I, I just want to be successful. Oh, yeah. This, I mean, I don't know. The, I, mean, I don't know which one you're talking about, but there's, there's a main of them. I, I didn't want to. Well, with him, just. We can revisit this another time because I know uh, uh, railroad down someone. I told him about this, so we can, we, oh, re- yeah, we can revisit this. We I can revisit, it. and and you guys can be better prepared for one of this. Or, I, I kind of sprung this yeah, on yeah. Let, Let's do that. <laughs> or, uh, oh, mine just like a sprained ankle, boy. I, I ain't nothing. I ain't done the play. Oh, that's uh forever, forever. Yeah, yeah. Last name ever, first name greatest, like Not a sprained that. ankle, boy. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That, that one's easy. Verse. That one's easy. No, no, boy. you hate that verse. We're not doing this. I mean, Kanye's verse is the best verse on there. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't so, like that song. So, 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 what's the best I mean, verse? On, what's the best Eminem's verse on the song? Verse. What's the best? What's I don't the best really verse like. On? I don't like that song at I all. Like that song. I'm not. I've never been a fan of that song. Uh, that that used to be my workout song for the longest. Anyway, all right. Um, that says a lot about me, I guess. All right, so so we're gonna hop back to football real quick, and then we can uh, move to basketball and uh, talk about the Last of Us. Um, all right, so quick question right off rip since uh, we're just gonna pick team who you guys is gonna win because we're on championships Sunday. Uh, oh, wait, I got I just got a question. Well, Ral's not here to answer it. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe I can be his stand in. Go ahead, <laughs> um, you can answer for Cowboy Nation. Hey, Ral, did they practice that play? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, actually they did. They was it's called the annexation of Puerto Rico. Oh my god. <laughs> you get that I I swear to god, literally last weekend we watched the Little Giants. I'm not even kidding. Bruh, I'm not like, even kidding. It really is like and then D'Amico Ryan calls the timeout and looks back at him and looks at the coach like, do you really still want to do this? Oh, y'all still going to do this. All right, cool. Just run over a Zeke. <laughs> was just like... oh, that was an intramural sports play. <laughs> like, That's flag just, football. I, I, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, this is tricky. All right, cool. They're going to sw- they're gonna switch all around. No, nah, they really have this nigga snap the ball. But other than that, I, you know. Uh, go ahead, Cap. Let's pick some teams. All right. So, um, what do you guys give at eighty five percent? Let's say Patty Mahomes is at eighty five percent because he's not at one hundred percent, right? Eighty five percent Patty Mahomes versus the Bengals. Do you guys give him a chance to win? Oh, I mean, yes. Look, I'll say this: I sprained my ankle three weeks ago. <laughs> um, in the rain. It was a, a story for another day. Can you um, stand the ring? Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's all I heard. Um, but I'll tell you now, in eight days, I know he's going to get treatment that I never would have gotten. <laughs> in eight days. That's why I'm giving him. I, I'm, 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 I'm saying he's 85%. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm, I, I'm, no, I agree. But I'm just like, he cannot. Like what has been required for him to make this offense move is his scrambling. He's done a lot more scrambling, buying time for the people to get open. I, if he has to sit there in that pocket, it's not going to be good for him. It's just not. So pay attention to the three step drops. That's I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Pay attention to the three step drops. And especially these it's, receivers don't get open that quickly, except for Kelsey. So it's going to be. A, I think they're going to start out with a lot of trickery, try to get a lot of movement. Um, other than that, but I'm not going to count out, you know, Pat Mahomes. Like, we can talk about that Super Bowl where they got blown out. It wasn't his fault. That's what I got to say. <laughs> right. It don't be his fault. People, people will say, oh, Tom Brady outplayed him. Uh, actually, he outplayed Tom Brady. Niggas wasn't catching the ball. Niggas wasn't catching <laughs> the ball. That's literally what it was. And like, the yeah. shit he was doing, I was like, so I'm not going to count him out. Um, I do know the Bengals got their number. The Bengals are on a mission. Uh, they look ten times better than they did last year. Right. So, um, but so, uh, so who you so so who you got? So who you got? Who you I got, got? I got the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs still. Clips. Ooh. Um. Feel like like we're on such a historic run for the NFL right now that history it has to be made, right? So I'm looking at how hungry the Bengals are, and I'm going with them. No discredit to what Mahomes and his team is doing, but I just don't think that they're as hungry the way the Bengals are. I know I know that Andy Reid is going to coach crazy. I know Mahomes, Mahomes can't afford to have another man's weight on him. That's what's going to fuck up the angle. And I'm not even saying like being super sacked. It's just extra weight. They're just going to try to touch him, you know, and Mm. force it. And a high ankle sprain is, is, it's wild when you really got to plant and move. You have 300 dudes, 300 pound dudes diving at your feet. Yeah. Yeah, man. man. It's going to be a little different. So you got bangles. I think think the bangles. That he likes to do or that reverse uh, uh, rollout he likes to do. He can't do that. Right. Um, and you gotta okay. look at the Bengals' offense has been going off, like yeah, yeah. Honestly, because for whatever really reason they didn't really stop. Good. Nobody decided to guard Travis Kelsey, which is like, hey, he's literally throwing it to one guy right now. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> um, second game, uh, the friends San Francisco 49ers against the the Eagles that fucked up my parlay for winning over six hundred dollars on the twenty dollar ticket. <laughs> Um, this was tough. No, I could have won six. I could have won six six hundred dollars on a twenty dollars ticket, bro. They just they fucked up my ticket. Um, but I bet on the Giants, and and that's what happened to me. So I deserved that. Anyway, win? yeah, I bet on the Giants to win. I did. Kev, when's the last time you watched football, bro? <laughs> what do you mean? Two I was I was I was yeah two weeks ago. I was riding high. I was riding high. I thought the Giants could do it. Anyway, um, Eagles. Uh, 
<laughs> Niners, who y'all got? Um. This is gonna oh, be a good hard. game. I'm not betting any of these games, by the this, way. This, this these games, all these games are hard. We're just like my, my brother's favorite team. Keep my money. Eagles, so keep my money right here. That's it. I, I don't got no reason to really pick the Eagles other than my brother's favorite team. <laughs> <That's> uh, <laughs> um, I, no. I told myself this year that I would go for the team that has consistently did my team dirty in this playoff situation. Okay. So. You have no stake in either team. So, I mean, as a Packers fan, Niners have, have got had our number. So I was like, well, I'll root for them just because of what they've done to us in the playoffs. Okay. So that's where I'm going. It's going to be uh, tough. All right. Then I got one last question before we get off of football. So out of these four teams, what's the matchup do you think the NFL wants? Uh, Chiefs versus the Eagles. Oh wait, no, no. Uh, I oh. think 49ers oh. Bengals. I think they want. Yeah, you think they want 49ers Bengals? You don't think they because want Patty? Historic. You don't think they want Patty in the Super Bowl? Patty's like no, the they Steph want Curry. See, of they want to see two premier Patty's white like quarterbacks. Two, I know, I know, I know they like Joe. I know they like Joe. I know they like Joe. Oh, I know they like Joey B. You see how they slurping Joe right now? I know they like Joey B. Bro, they, they, they like Joey love, B. They love Joe. <laughs> They love Joe so they, much. They're, they're trying. They're tr- they're really trying to build Pat and Joe oh, to Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, love, which is great. To, which is great. I appreciate. Fine, it. But they're not even trying to. They're trying to uh, say Joe is the best quarterback in the NFL right now. It's like, him and Patty only because Patrick Mahomes was hurt. Yeah, that's why they're saying that. No, they were saying that there before was, he got some, hurt. Some some that's, some some people. Were. That's, it's, that's it's Patty. Patty. Oh, well, they're it's, they're doing that bullshit where they're saying. Um, Mahomes is the most athletically gifted yeah, and talented. The gifted, and then talented. Joe Burrow is the, the a better winner. quarterback. He's a winner. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback on a bad ankle. I don't care. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, the crazy thing, that's literally what Nick Wright said on this his show on Monday. He was like, the top three quarterbacks in the NFL is, one, Patrick Mahomes, without question. Number two, Joe Burrow, without question. Number three, Patrick Mahomes on one ankle. <laughs> and I was dying. I was like, yo, he's so fucking stupid. I, I, like fucking, fucking stupid. Hey, man, like, Wait, hey, did y'all know that they played against each other in college? No. Um, Jalen Hurts and Brock Purdy? Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, they, they, they played each other a few times. They were, in the, uh, they were both in the... Um, I know nothing about college football. Big? College football. Not big, big, big 12? I believe so, yeah. But I, I, I've been hearing that they played each other in in college before. So this is going to be interesting, yeah. right? Like both that Can't starters wait. and both. I'm glad they, I know. I'm glad they're on. I think both of the games are on the Sunday. I hated that Saturday, Sunday shit. They just pissed me off. I hate, that shit, so. I hate that shit too. Just have it on one day, bro. Anyway. <laughs> um. All right. So switching gears to, to the NBA. Um. Real quick, so um, what do you guys think of the NBA's rivalry weeks? The rivalry, rivalry. I can't, I can't talk. Rivalry week uh, that they've uh, implemented this year. What do you guys think of it? Um, I think it it could have been done sooner, but I think they're doing it too late. Like some of these teams don't have a stacked team to be a rival. <laughs> So let me read. Some, so it started on Tuesday. So let me read some of these matchups that they had for every week. Uh, so Tuesday, uh, they had the Celtics versus the Heat, um, which is yeah, that's a rivalry. Uh, I mean, if you want to go off the years that they played each other in the playoffs between LeBron and Paul George, I mean, it's not as it's not as solid as it is now. I mean, but they've had play. They've had play. They've always been rivals. Though. They've always had rivals. They had playoff matchups. Uh, you know, uh, recently too. Uh, Clippers Lakers, which you know the Clippers literally destroyed the Lakers and made fucking nineteen threes, if I remember correctly, uh, in that game. They know how uh, to show for one defense. game. They literally know how to show for one game. They Those know how to show for one game. Those bum ass niggas. Um, Wednesday, uh, they had uh, the Nets versus Seventy Sixers, which that game was great. I don't know if y'all watched that game live, but that game was great. It was a lot of pushing and shoving. Uh, ben Simmons' first game back playing with Joel Embiid on the court. It was great. That you know. Um, Sixers try to and, make it. A, and Ben made I, a buzzer beater. The Nets, the Nets try to make it a game. I do want to ask a question. Sure. I guess the bigger question to be like, how is Joel Embiid able to do that celebration? Uh, he's, uh, I think he's good. I mean, he hasn't got fined. Yeah, I thought he was going to get fined. I don't know. 
I, I, I'm just like, Kobe got in trouble. Uh, Kobe gets in trouble for the balls thing. I put on Twitter. I was like, I was when he, I did a, I did Dan a gift. I did it. I did yeah, a gift of him doing yeah, it. Yeah, like, I, I'm just like, he's clearly like, and he's done it for the longest. And he, clearly... and, he's, and he's, and he posted suck it on yeah, Twitter afterwards. He, too. But he always says it too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, I like, it's like, and they don't do anything to him. But I did a, I put, a, I posted a gif on Twitter of him doing it, and I was like, fifth grade me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Me in the fifth grade, and literally going to the principal's office for that. Uh, it, anyway. It's really one of those yeah. things where it's just like everybody knows what that is. Like yeah. them is just like acting oblivious to it, but whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm not asking them to be suspended. Well, it? the NBA, you know the, the you know ES, ESPN and the, you know they're trying to get rights to the, to the WWE because uh, their rights is coming up. So maybe they're trying to stay in the good graces. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So then Joel could get his professional wrestling career going because it's hooping's not working. <laughs> All right, so also on Wednesday was the Grizzlies Warriors game, which was another fucking awesome fucking game. That is, a, I, while the Warriors will diminish it, I legit think that's a rivalry as far as just the team that's at the top of the mountain and the team that's coming for the mountaintop. So I think that's literally, to me, that's like, Oh yeah. It's a, it's a, that one is a torch pass. Like the, yeah, the, yeah. the youth, the youth is coming to attack that like, cause when they it's, were the youth, they were the assassinated. It's real everybody. similar yeah. to when Kobe and the Lakers and Paul Gasol was on top and the Oklahoma city thunder was knocking on the door. Russell with Russ and KD and, and Serge Ibaka and James Harden was coming. Man. A team came out of nowhere named the Warriors. The Warriors came out of nowhere. So I would say, as much as it is a torch passing, they better keep an eye on them Pelicans. <laughs> that's they true. Out of nowhere. Oh yeah, that's true. true. It's, it's so you just think it's a it's a four by four. I, I it just turned into baton. I, I just feel like we always have because the say, Suns are going to look like they're going like, to remember, we, the top Keep in mind, it was like remember that the Clippers and Warriors rivalry, like. There's always this idea that some team is supposed to be there and they're they dominating. Memphis is not fucking around this year. But then there's always a team that comes around out of nowhere and beats them. And I think that the Pelicans, once they get fully healthy, which is they just missing Zion, damn, that's going to no, be. He's back. Is he back now? Oh. He's back. He didn't play the last game, did he? Yes, he's back. He played last game. Yesterday. He played yesterday for the first time. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, um and today we're recording this on Thursday. Uh, the New York Knicks just beat the Boston Celtics in overtime. So that's again that's another another legit rivalry. Just you know New York Boston, and right and that right now as we're currently uh, recording, uh, the Dallas Mavericks, Mavericks are playing against the Phoenix Suns, which Luca just got hurt. So I haven't looked at the score, right. but I imagine it's not gonna be great. Um, right now for a while. Yeah, I don't think it's I like, I like the Nuggets in, in Dallas to have a rivalry just because Jokic and, and Luka. I just want that. Sure. I, I, I can see that. Just because. So uh but and then that. obviously so let me run through some more of these. So on Friday they got the Grizz and the Timberwolves, but that's literally based off one playoff series that happened last year. I don't think that's the rivalry. And Pat's and then not this there. one yeah, I mean, Warriors the will never live up to their potential. <laughs> never. Ever. And in this one the 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 tra- uh, Trailblazers, I'm sorry. Uh, the Toronto Raptors versus Golden State is not a rivalry. I don't know where they got that from. Get the fuck out of here with that one. It's cool. When Kawhi won the ring. I know. I I know where they think they got it but from. I don't but think we the, felt that was we, a rivalry then. We never thought that was going to be a rivalry. Bro. I felt like the friendly It's, Drake. it's just the Drake effect. No. It's Drake. Yeah. The Drake yeah. effect. Um, it's not even in Toronto. Uh, and then Saturday, we got no, Nuggets. I would say Toronto-Philly is more of a rivalry than fucking... Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, because because okay. of the because sh- of the quad shot. Yeah, I can see that. Um, Nugget Sixers, obviously, because of the big man. Um, one of you know both they feel like they're the best big man in the game. Uh, then they got the crosstown rivalries of the Knicks and the Nets, the Battle of the Boroughs, uh, and then obviously to the nightcap on Saturday on ABC is you know the matchup of the matchups: Los Angeles Lakers versus the Celtics. Uh, sorry, so I say that to say uh, I actually. For me, I'm going to be honest, as a person who watches basketball literally religiously every day, no matter who's playing, for the most part, I will try to keep a sense of everybody who's playing. I I don't watch uh, Houston Rockets games, though. I, I can't. Too much bad basketball. Um, but pretty much everybody else I'll at least watch. Um, 
I like it because it's literally the dog days of the NBA season, and they're trying to make ways to get ratings and stuff. So I kind, I kind, I kind of feel it. Um, that they, they're they're trying to get their march on before the NFL is finally f- fucking out of here, so they can. I'm saying it's like I'm mad, but they're trying to get their march on for when the NFL is done, so they can get all the ratings from people that literally hop from NFL to the NBA once the NBA uh, once the NFL season's over. Um, but all right, so I say this to say. I want to talk about the Rui trade. Uh, we finally we saw one game of Rui Hachimura with the Los Angeles Lakers. They played against the San Antonio Spurs last night uh, in the in the in a Laker win. Unfortunately, they had to play really hard to win that game against the San Antonio Spurs. Um, but they did win. Uh, Rui played. Uh, came off the bench. Him. Oh, Anthony Davis did return. Um, <laughs> Ad and Rui. Uh, Entered the game at the same time. Uh, you can tell Rui. Well, first, uh, Clips, let me get your. What, what did you think of the trade? Because I got a lot of thoughts. So, what did you think of the Rui trade for the Lakers? Um, did you feel it? Did you? Uh, did you think? <laughs> did you feel like the the price was too much, Kendrick Nunn, and them three picks, or did you feel like it's a good buy low uh, for the Lakers? I think for the Lakers. Um trying to get a consistent um, non-guard is what they need, right? So he's shown a little bit in his in his time with the Wizards that he not only can shoot decently, yep. right, but that he will be consistently on the floor with them. I say all that to say they could have – they could have – I mean, I don't – my my hope and prayers and dreams for AD is that after the All Star break, he wears an ankle brace, right? He loves because wearing he loves wearing low top Kobe's, it, and he needs to wear some. He now needs to he get wears the, the low top with Kobe's the, with the lace. Now he wears a low top uh bronze, but keep going the twenties. I mean, it don't even matter. He, I don't think it's the shoes because it's been like I want to say it's been proven, but they went to low top for a reason to start playing because it actually doesn't. Yes, he, uh, the but- the same effect that I say I say this about, across the board for all sports. There is no way that your performance in any sport that you play needs to every time you play have a brand new pair of shoes, cleats, etc. Oh, you're right. You need to have consistent shoes yeah. that you are already equipped to using and moving in. They yeah. wear too many new items. That someone like him, he's blowing out shoes and his knees and everything because he's, it's always new. He needs to wear the same shoe in one month and then switch to another shoe, break that bad boy in. Like he's just doing too much. But anyways, that's that's. No, I, feel, I, I feel like I he has a lot of freak accidents. To be honest with you. Uh, yeah. But again, back to my point. I hope it. I hope after the All Star break, he. AD's playing better. But as far as the trade, I feel like that's the best step in the right direction for them because the Lakers were too guard heavy anyways. They need to come up off some of these other guards on their bench that they don't need or send them to the G League, whatever. But they can they need to empty some cap space so they can get a um, a potential better pick because there's somebody who they're going to try to land. And I think that that's going to be the person like that when that trade happens before the deadline and everything, that's going to be one that everyone's more excited for him coming in. It's cool. It's a temporary solution, but the next one they do is going to be the big one. They're going to pull the trigger on something. That's what I said. And we'll see. Uh, Jesse, I know you had a lot of comments in the chat, so uh, I'm going to let you speak. See, before, you uh... sound like I'm saying something <laughs> negative. I don't got a problem with the Rui trade. We actually needed another Ford. We needed another Ford. Okay. Lakers needed another Ford. They needed to get rid of all these damn guards that just only one can do well a night. <laughs> like uh, this inconsistency. Um, none of them can shoot. So it, it was like, you gotta, we gotta, you know, the problem I have, which Rui will start to play better. The problem I have is like, no matter what they do, this team is just the hodge hodgepodge of players. So it's kind of like you're just trying to figure out who to put together. And, and this has been the thing for the past two years. And it doesn't really help to continue to just bring in new players. 
and then just be like, all right, we'll switch them in and out. Like, you know, the the consistency, the playing with each other, figuring it out, it, you know, that takes time. So they got a good rhythm now, but even now it's like, man, they are hard to watch. You talk about bad basketball, Kev. Some of these, they are bad to watch sometimes because they, they're just the they second. Like, their they second, their second lineups are bad. They don't have anytime like, when LeBron's on the court, they're good. But whenever it's Russ yeah, and Winion Gabriel and 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 Juan Toscano Anderson, <clears throat> they just don't have. Like, it's like, bad. It looks bad because they don't have. They're not the well, they're used to play mm-hmm. with each other now, but it's like. You, you had to learn each other's tendencies and all those things while the season was going on. That's why it's like, and so all I would say is the trade is not a bad trade. It's not a bad trade. Uh, it's the best they can do. I, I believe that all those rumors are rumors. I never believed not one of uh, one of them because it's- it Rumors are what? What rumors? Like Laker Look trade. at all these rumors. Um, <clears throat> the rumor trades, Bogdanovich, this person, that person. I, I think I, I think Bogdanovich is still on the table. I'm not even going for it. I'm not even going. Do we have? The, I think that's doable. I, I'm just saying I don't believe it until it happens. Um, I, I got you. But all of that stuff. I think the only thing I think the Lakers have been calling and Detroit's like, yo, unprotected. And Lakers like, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll protect this. Like, we'll just we'll Lakers protect it to like it. you will protect it to the fifth pick. And they're like, nah, unprotected. Call me back when Lakers, you got you Lakers say no unprotected. Leverage. That's <clears> the problem. <throat> Lakers have no leverage, so that's what I'm saying. They're not gonna make if you're not willing to make that trade where you could have ch- got a chance to go get uh, uh, two guys off the Pacers. You're not gonna make that trade for Bogdanovich. Like, I didn't. Earlier in the year, I thought that was going to be a good trade, but uh, now I, I don't think the Pacers trade was going to be good. All right, so <clears throat> you done, Jesse? Can I can oh, I can well, I cut? Oh, can I call oh, ISO oh, now? I still think uh, Palinka's okay here. We go. GM. That's it. But he doesn't know how to build a team. That's it. He knows names. He don't know how to build a team. Well, remember, and there's no reason why we traded for fucking Pat Beverly. Why? Of all the fucking point guards, out of all the fucking point guards they had in Utah, oh, let's go get Pat. They like, wanted well, someone well, who was well, well, real. I mean, real. Well, Jesse, we we only can trade for him because we we I traded. don't trade at all. We <laughs> the guy that the guy that to, to be honest with you the we we made good on that trade because you know the guy that we traded for him who everybody thought was gonna be the savior for for the team what's his name again I can't even remember his name he don't even play for they us should have cut him <laughs> what's his name why can't I remember See, this is bad I can't remember his name either I feel bad shoot and but he now he he's, he doesn't even he gets no burn on Utah so the Lakers made good on that trade because at least one of the players are still playing all right anyway That's let me talk about let me talk about Royce. All right, so when the Rui trade happened, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Obviously, I only know I only knew a couple things about Rui Hachimura. Besides, obviously, he's uh, he's of Japanese descent. Um, I know he went to Gonzaga. Uh, I also knew that he was not a perfect player. I knew his height, and I knew like his the, those red those regular attributes about him. But I did come home and I do what I normally always do when a trade of a team that I watch enjoy. I go on YouTube and I just start looking up stuff. I was like, oh, what's, what, what, what's his bag looking like? Well, how does he score? Well, where does he score? Where does he like to catch the ball? Does he, can he do anything besides dribble the ball? Does he have any kind of range? I was, so I watch a lot of stuff. So what I've learned, uh, I'll start with the positive. Uh, Rui Hachimura walks on the Los Angeles Lakers as probably the second best shooter on the team. Jesus. Catch. I know. That says a lot about the Lakers. Uh, he walks on the Lakers as probably the second, third best shooter on the Lakers. And that says a lot about the Lakers shooting, but that does say a, lot about, a little bit about him as about his catch and shoot. He, I think he has a really good form. Uh, the one thing I don't like is that his mid-range shot is a little different than his three-point shot. Uh, they will always tell you, uh, shooting coaches and stuff, that they will want you to have a consistency with whatever you shoot on the court. You should have the same type of form and shot. So I think uh, working with Phil Handy, that will be corrected, but that's like an off-season thing. So that, that can't be helped during the season. Um, I also noticed, um, obviously, we brought his height. He's 6'8". Six, six, uh, six, uh, he's big. Like you said, we the Lakers were ridiculously uh, small. They uh, also Darby- athletic. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he, he's he's athletic. Um, 
Darvin Ham, for whatever reason, I mean, I guess just out of necessity, and I guess he just wanted to showcase Kendrick Nunn for the trade. He played a lot of three guard lineups, which is a lot of the reason why I feel like the Lakers got a lot of losses. Um, because he, for whatever reason, would not play Troy Brown Jr. down the stretch in a lot of games, so he would rather just play Russ, uh, uh, Bev, and and another small with Bron and and try and, and Thomas Bryant, which I always thought was stupid. Um, <clears throat> but he does so add, Damon, he has another Damon Jones that he would play with, or is it Damon Jones? Um, no, they. Thank God they don't play him. He sucks. <clears throat> but he they would play. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but he does, like you said, he has size. I I, I do have questions about which, which is probably going to happen. He's probably going to have to guard the best wings, the Kawhis, the Paul Georges, the Lucas, unfortunately, in the West. And I don't think he's equipped to do that. Maybe one day, just not today. Um <laughs> For the entire game is just those guys are yeah just play. don't i mean just they're don't gonna look, don't look on, bad they're gonna go off on whoever yeah whoever. just don't go over there and look stupid and I, I think he can do that um he does play small for for him to be six nine and have the tools he does he i think i don't think he's ever averaged over three rebounds in, in his three seasons in the nba which is kind of bad which it's tells ridiculous. me which yeah that's it's, it's kind of bad um that's one i think that's one of the reasons why he lost his job to kyle kuzma um, but uh, uh, he shoots a lot of mid range jumpers too, which I think needs to be corrected, and I think it will be corrected. I also think, just obviously, this goes without saying, just playing with players like LeBron and AD is just gonna make him a whole lot better and showcase him a lot better. Um, but yeah, that's my my set. Uh, did I talk about his rebound? I talked, yes, that's oh, oh, awful passer. That's the, the, the if, I, if I want to talk about um, one of his real bad weaknesses. He does not have a really good flow reading of the game as far as passes. It's, oh, it's we don't need him for that. He's just slash and finish, finish. finish. <laughs> yeah, we don't need finish him again. Now. Finish the play. Yeah. But <laughs> but so don't expect ahead. him. Don't expect just, to, for him to drive yeah. and make really good ball decisions. I, I would expect for him. He's not really good ball. I don't think that's in his bag. At least not yet. But still young. I think he's like 25, 24. The Wizards gave up on him really early. So, yeah. again, this is a really good buy low. And that's why I am optimistic about this. And that's why I'm giving a pass to Rob Palenka for now um, until we see uh, what he does in offseason. But does I also – Does this trade get them into the playoffs? I think they was going to get into playoffs regardless. So, you talked to the wrong person. All right. So, are they going to win a playoff series with this trade? Yeah. I don't – Jesse, it depends who falls off the cliff in Jesse. the West. If, if a team I, just falls off the cliff, again, you're speaking to the wrong person. Because uh, I believe you believe they're going to win a playoff series, which they're going to be off the bottom three. They're not I gonna... think I think the Lakers can beat the Nuggets because they beat them twice already in the season. I think they can beat the Nuggets. A full healthy Laker team, they can beat the Nuggets. I also think they can. The only team I'm like, I also think they can. Huh? I also think they can beat. I don't think they can beat the Grizzlies. I think that 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 might be an issue because of Jaron Jackson Jr. I think that might be a problem. We're also talking about a full healthy Lakers is without. But it. I think they can beat the Suns. Right. I think they can build a full filthy healthy Suns. I think that's uh, if the Suns are. I mean, I the Suns are down low there too. I think they can beat the Suns. Um, they might have a problem with like Dallas, but there's no scary team in the West, so that's why I'm I'm with them, and I don't think Rappelink is done. I think. So let me tell you about a trade that I thought about. So who says no to this? Um, what do you guys think? So J- Jesse, tell me this: if the Lakers was to do a Russell Westbrook and one pick, they'll save one. So let's say they do their twenty seven, and they, they and they don't do their twenty nine. Russell Westbrook and in, in the twenty seven pick, and let's say it's lightly protected. Let's say it's like somewhere in the five four range for Fred Van Fleet and Gary Trent Jr. Would you want to see something like that? Would that push him in the range? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't think so, Clips? No. I, don't. I think so. I don't. And I, I, I say that to say. <clears throat> don't want Pat Bev, too, the, so you can get money, make the, money right. The, the coaching that is being done is to still keep the ball in Bron's hand a percentage of the time. Fred, 
Fred is a good point guard. And I he's don't not, think he's, that, he's a secondary creator, though, if you really want to break it down. Pat, I think no, Pat, I'm just, Pat I'm just saying as, as far as moving the ball up and down the court, I feel like he he's going to need the ball to to get a rhythm more than he's going to have to wait. And I for him, but Trent, they yeah. need his defensive presence. Yeah, now, yeah Trent. Trent, I feel like he's a great defender and I feel like he's a great role player and he's impactful like immediately. Mm-hmm. So my only my only I think that's a just, trade. I think that's a trade that will push the Lakers over the top. I'm being real. Trent is the guy is the guy LeBron would want because Trent and Fred Van, and honestly, you could just take Fred on the chin because like I don't think the Lakers would resign Fred because he turned down eight figures already. I think from the Raptors, but maybe you just don't want to play with the Raptors. Um, and I and I know the Lakers don't want to pay that much for him. Um, it just depends on True. what he what what he wants to do. Um, but yeah, I think that's a trade. I, I also think the Bogdanovich trade uh, would make sense, but I also think now with Rui Hachimura, I just think that's unrealistic because they play the same position. Yeah. Well, obviously, LeBron plays the same position. I just think you're just going to create another log jam um, of players that play the same position there. Um, but yeah, that's that's one I'm looking at. I don't think Rob, I think because of the Rui trade, I think it's more likely that a, a pick in Pat Bev gets moved. I, I also think the Russ thing is still up. You know, if they if they can get something that they like, I think Russ can still get moved. I don't think it's going to be both of the picks. I think they'll only do both of the picks for uh, Zach Levine. Both of the picks and Russ for Zach Levine. I think that would be a home run if they could do something like that. If they could pull something like that out their ass, that would be it. But they now have no money in the offseason. So, no. yeah. No. And Not they still need dollar. some big men. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, Anthony Davis don't want to be big. Well, Darvin Ham said he's gonna play in my five. That's why they, they, they're they're, saying, they're forcing gonna, they're forcing it though. They're like, is him and, and Bryant gonna be on the court together? They're they uh Zach Lowe That's their only option. Zach Lowe was talking about how they gotta play it. Thomas Bryant's shown enough shooting that they should at mm-hmm. least play like nine minutes a game together. There's there's enough where you they can play like nine minutes in the game. Find nine minutes for them to play together. I don't know, man. Especially with Russ. AD sprayed his ankle in midair, man. <laughs> just gotta let it go, Jess. I can't. But yeah. I can't. I just can't let that one go, man. Let it, let it go, man. <laughs> That's a freak right, if I've ever heard one, man. <laughs> like, Jess man, is so negative. Like, All right, let's finish up on our show uh spoiler alert this is your spoiler we alert we got, we got two we got we got oh i forgot one yeah before i got the last one my bad yeah. i forgot about that all right so off top uh this is a topic that we uh we um we saw on twitter and this is something we normally don't do but i thought this is oh, yeah. we thought this was an interesting conversation yeah. that we would all just indulge in and talk about it. think jesse reminded me i forgot all about this so there was a video going around uh, a gentleman, a guy uh, who flew a young lady out, right? I think he f- says he flew her out from Indiana. Um, we don't know where they he flew her out to. Um, he flew her out. Uh, he said they were talking. Uh, uh, they were talking for for some time on socials or whatever. He flew her out. She's obviously an IG model or whatever. Uh, she uh, <laughs> he initially wanted to fly her on Spirit. Uh, she was like, I don't fly on spirit. I'm not a spirit woman, which I understand because, you know, spirit is just a bus in the sky. Uh, and he, he cop for Delta, you know what I'm saying? Um, you that's know. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so the, he, he decided, you know, he decided to, to take care of her for a weekend. They obviously wanted to spend some time. They have some rapport together. So they spend one night together. Obviously, he's a gentleman. Nothing went down the first night. Uh, you know, so second night, you know, obviously there he's probably spending money on her. He they they opt to go get some meat. She says she only likes you know, uh, lobster is what she said. Crab legs. He only likes crab legs. You know, she wants to feel fancy. She wants crab legs. So you know, he went he got some crab legs. Spent it on her. So uh, apparently, this man's been footing to keeping the keeping tabs on how much money he's been spending on Shorty, which is uh, it was a red flag in my head. Um, so obviously the video. Yeah. The video he posted of uh, it was exposing her, saying that he spent five thousand on on uh, on this particular woman, and she didn't want him to touch her. Her she didn't want him to touch him. Her him. 
Uh, they was going to have a little back and forth, a little, uh, you know, he, he felt entitled uh, that he spent that amount of money on her, that he uh, he was going to get access to, you know, her, her goodies or whatever. I'm trying to say it in the most nicest PC way possible. Um, so, yeah, so I, I sent this message to the group chat. I sent it around. Uh, I sent it to my best friend, Linnea, who had different thoughts about this. Shout uh, out to Linnea. Shout out to Linnea. Um, so bring her on. We gotta bring. We gonna have to revisit this. <laughs> and bring her on. So she can just get on. You, yeah. She's a happy mom right now. I don't want to make her negative. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, man. So yeah, basically, what? How do you guys feel about what are the procedures and what are the do's and don'ts of flying a woman out? What? Is, what is? What do you? What do you expect? And should you expect anything when you fly a woman out from anywhere? Um, let me start off with this. <laughs> I think we all can agree that no man, or shit, even women, you know, no person. Yeah, is, sugar mama's out there, man. Don't don't discriminate. Yeah, no, no, nobody is entitled to a person's body. Uh, we can, especially man, yes. the woman, we can all agree to that. Nobody's entitled to that. Nobody. Um, you can have expectations. My body, my choices. They say, Jesse. But, yeah. Um, you could have expectations, but uh, that's it. The expectation, <laughs> right? That's it. The expectations in your head. You go. There ain't nothing more to that. Um, I, you know, and for anybody that feels like they in a situation where they have to do that, um, you know, I hope the best for you, and you can get out of that situation. But now, speaking to that, with that, with the feelers and everything, I think, um, you know. Obviously, he expected some. Um, do I believe I, I? They're both wrong in this situation. You know, she was using them for his money, and she knew that at the end of the day. I I, I don't want to say she knew, but I, I think she would understand that he would want to do something. Um, him expecting that and spending all that money. And no, like, and you didn't have an idea of whether you're going to get some or not or anything that y'all, it wasn't talked about, it was just expected. That's on you, bro. You spending all that money, that's on you. She said, I don't want this, I want this, that's on you. You made all those choices to do all that. Like, at the end of the day, like, put your foot down. Like, bro, like, yo, not put your foot down and be like, oh, if I do this, I'm going to get some. But put your foot down like you don't, you don't like it. I only eat crab legs. Well, we gonna eat over here. <laughs> like, do something like that. Like, you you know we gonna write to, going right to Mickey D's. Like, you just, you just spending money like with nothing known. So I blame you on that. I, I know a lot of dudes is not gonna agree, but I blame you on that. You was willing to spend all that money and you just spending it because you wanted a baddie, not because you want that. That's really what it is. You wanted an Instagram model. So you was wanting to spend that money and you expected that. But in that expectation, you played yourself. She played you. Now, okay, uh, but we can, you know, from there, we can move on to the next thing. But go ahead, Cliff. Go ahead, Cliff, please. Um, yeah, again, poor guy, poor girl. Um, <laughs> America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, America. I think, I think, again, you're right, 100% right, Jess. They're both wrong. My thing is, I want to know what the messages look like, right? Because if if there was something that was misleading or something that was left out, that would help clear up how they got to where they're at. But Again, I think he would have said it, right? He would have said, oh. No, he was, no, he was saying we was, flirt, we was talking. Yeah. yeah, but I think, I don't know. I just want to know how what her response to things were too. Like just just to make it fair, because he, he again he's the one videotaping her and and he's the one making her look bad, right? Even though he's saying in that point in time he was the a day or two he was being a gentleman. When was he not being a gentleman? True, right? I think that also plays a a, a next the next role. Obviously. Everyone's going to be reactionary because that video, but I think the other stuff that come with it also assist to, you know, what can really be going on. Now, mind you, if you're flying out somebody and you think 
they only want to come on a one way. You you tripping, brother? You tripping? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank you. You, you, pay. you paying for that round trip? So I don't know. And again, if he as soon as he was like, I don't want you here or anything, he should just went downstairs and told them he had an unwanted guest and had to remove. And then, but, but see, that's very see see clips. That's a very mature response to do that this dude obviously pulled out his phone obviously when he wasn't when he was trying to get it popping and cracking and she told him no and he pulled out his phone so this is this is obviously somebody that's not mature like that oh yeah he, or he had a bad playlist his yeah. his bad sex playlist it just it wasn't hidden so yeah, she was yeah. like nah yeah. man yeah he wasn't he was being corny the whole time and she was but, like all I gotta say is this, uh, and Jesse and I talked about this at length uh, earlier in the week. I just feel like this is one of the one of the problems, man. Just, just a lot of men. We think it's normal, right? Because I, you know, I feel like we do here, but a lot of men don't know how to speak to women. A lot, a lot we we don't know how to talk to women. Like I just feel like men don't know Especially how to. Especially with this day and age, and we just the, the ability to access somebody just, from another just, state. Yeah, just the gift of gab and being able to be flirty, friendly, clever, uh, uh, money talks, present, present, and just and and court. Like, just I don't think I don't think a lot of men got that in their bag. I really don't. They they you know (laughs) I was gonna make a bad joke. Um, Sounds like you need to visit off the rails and teach these brothers. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a comment about rail rails, my man. Um, I know I'm saying you. I'm saying you teach these brothers. Like oh no 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 nah, not rail. No nah, no. Nah. <laughs> See that's what I was gonna say. Um, hey hey, it, you can do your own spinoff and it's called Classic Man. Nah. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm good. I like that. <laughs> I'm cool. Um, but yeah, I just feel like, man, we just, you gotta be better in it's to figuring out a woman's intention. Like, again, I told her, I told Jesse this, like during the conversation, uh, portion, you got, you gotta be clever enough to talk about it in a flirty way. It's, it's to know if it was going to go down like, and during the trip, like, Hey, like you pack a lingerie, like just, just like this, there's ways to just hey, like inch and kind of ask what you want without asking what, what you want. You, uh, yeah. Uh, like, you know, like, yeah, just like there's, there's ways to do it. And just, and obviously this brother wasn't spooling, smooth enough to do it. Um, like, again, yep. I, I don't put the blame solely on him. I feel like obviously hey, she Kevin, has I have a question too, for but, you. Uh, because okay. they brought this up in the Joe Biden, Biden podcast where he said to do it. The mm. twin beds. <laughs> I definitely put the twin beds together. 100%. That makes a king. 100%. Oh, I've, I've never done that in my life. But I've, de- I've definitely done saying, that. You get the twin bed. You get the twin beds because the hotel is cheap. You get the hotel room that's cheap. But again, you're speaking to a broke boy. So check this out. Okay. So, no, no. Okay. Cool. You get the twin beds. You put them together. Why? What? He bought. He. Never mind. Never mind. Go. go. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Exactly. There's twin beds in the room. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Uh, but I will say this. I will say this. I mean, they're twin beds, but I've been in situations where they want two beds, but one bed just to throw your shit on top of the bed. Like, yeah. that's, that's that's true, too. But obviously, again, yeah. and this is one of my, this is my, 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 uh, my message to women. And obviously, and I, 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 this is my message to women. I don't want to tell women what to do. But she's stupid as hell for going on this trip with this guy and not having a case of shit happens money. It's called something else, but in case shit, you should always have in case shit happens money. I don't care where you go. If I don't care if a man flew you out to to, to Tahiti, if you ain't got spirit to get your ass back to home, back yeah, home, money. Yeah, you ain't got you and you, you shouldn't be going. Should. Then, then, then you shouldn't That's be going. Cool. She might she might have brought luggage. Spirit charges for the luggage, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care. If up. you if you have a man fly you out anywhere and he's he's offered to pay all expenses paid, you don't have good friends in your life. To somebody, one of your female friends should tell you, "Here's some in case that shit happens." Money. Here's oh, facts. here's let me like, cash app you some in case. Re- if she's in a, case if, shit happens. Money. If she's an Instagram model. 
a lot of these girls spend a lot of time by themselves. They yeah, them here's some in case shit happens money. So that's why that's why I blame her because it's like you shouldn't go on the trip solely. Thinking. Oh, that's all on her. That, like, yeah, that is on her. So that's why that's why I said the for the for me the pie dangerous. is like it's it's you know, like it's, that it's dangerous. Dangerous situation. You have no way. Yeah, we talked about. There's no way for you. You you don't. You haven't been in this man's present. So. Even if this would have went well, with me and you talked about Jesse. Say if y'all, you, you would have hit it off. You would have actually gave him some, right? You would have gave him some snatch. You would have gave him some cap. And then he just woke up and be like, oh, "I'm cool off you. Get out. Yeah. You ain't got no in case money." Yeah. God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't got no yeah. in case money. So like, even if it went good, you should you never know. expect to be like somebody. Like, look, I can. For me. I would even if I got mad, fight a per a girl like not fight, fight, but we got in a big ass argument. All this don't want to do nothing with each other. I'm still making sure she get home. I'm still making sure she get home. I never then, would want, and then I'll never talk to her again. But yes, yeah, I <laughs> never want that. There's so much shit can go bad. exactly. Just, so that nigga then, doing that, it's like, bro, you need to you need to be careful with that alone. Because if she ended up missing, nigga, that's on you. Uh, but oh, for uh, sure. But we're not going to go to that uh, far extent. But it's like one of those things where it's just like you cannot expect everybody to be a a, a, a decent enough human being to get you home. And mm. you shouldn't expect somebody to even be a decent enough human being to get you to where you got to go. You got to right. put yourself. So your expectation, her expecting some shit is like one of these things where it's like you knew when you was coming in, you wasn't gonna give him some, or at some point in time, you knew. May, or maybe he talked himself out of the the, the out of said. the pee. At maybe he talked himself time, out of the yeah. pee. Yeah. yeah, that's why I, I'm saying at some yeah. certain point in time, you knew you wasn't gonna do uh, like do this. You it didn't happen right at that moment. You something happened. That, but I always feel like maybe this is wrong. I, if if a girl gets flown out, I I I want to feel like in her mind she's like I might give him some pee. Let's see if he can talk himself out of it. Oh, I I agree. I agree. And this, you know, what I mean, like maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I, I, mean, I just feel like there still should know, be some transparency. Yeah, I, no, and you remember, there's always that joke where it's like, you know, you already got it. Just don't fuck it up by yeah, saying something basically. stupid. Like you know, yeah, I mean? yeah. yeah. There's always that already had it. Yeah. So who had. knows about that? We do need that transparency. But at some point in time, you knew, and if you knew. You should have been planning ahead already before you even got on that plane. Like, what if what if something happened just on your way to the fucking airport? You wasn't gonna have no money. That's like, you was gonna have to call somebody. That's what I'm saying. That again, this you is coming from a broke boy. I, I, you gonna call yeah. this nigga to help you again, like, or sense. help you? That don't make like, sense. Th- that's just one of those things where it's just you put yourself, and this has nothing to do with like you not giving them any or none of that. That's just simply. Yo, that was the dumbest thing you could that ever That was the dumbest do. ever. I'm going to hop on a plane and go somewhere with some strange guy that I've just been talking to on social or whatever. And they I don't have a, paying for and I don't have a dollar in my account. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild yeah. behavior. Yeah, Instagram model. <laughs> don't they wild. have money? You would think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it does not always go down in the DMs or it's not supposed to. <laughs> But That's I don't want to like put all this on her. I know we talked about no, that. No, no, we 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 called him stupid plenty of times but too. It's like like, like uh, Clips was about to say, if you thought it was gonna go down, you shouldn't have got a room with twin beds. True. Yeah. But, <laughs> but my thing is like you I, gave her options. <laughs> Exactly. You gave you gave the option. You gave her options that you didn't yeah. want to give her out. Honestly, she probably walked in that room and saw the twin and, bed. And saw the twin bed and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and saw his stuff on this party. side and saw his stuff on this side and was like threw her back on the other bed. Like, oh yeah. perfect. She oh. probably walked up in there and was like, This is not a sweet. Oh hell no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, uh, Love party then. Uh, basically. But I, all I would say with the dude is just like for all dudes, like you, like this idea of thinking your money's gonna get you a long way, and you don't really have to talk to a person, or you talking to them through DMs. I, here's my thing: even when I'm texting somebody I know, sometimes I still am like, "Am I texting?" They will send you something, and you'll be like, "That's weird." Am I texting her right now? <laughs> or am I texting so I wonder about that. So for it's like if you these random people you fly you putting the, you hitting up on DMs and everything, 
Like the fact that you think that you you spending all that money and you get catfished. You spending all that money, like I, uh, I just nothing. Damn. Yeah. Damn, like, it just it just becomes such a bigger issue now. Yeah, like there's so many layers. And yeah. it's just that. That's why I, I said this shit is deep. It's definitely deep. And it's like you said, he over here, we brought it up earlier, but oh, I, fit, I spent five Gs. I spent five Gs. I mean, it don't matter. I got that. I got that. It's nothing. It clearly was something. You know what I'm saying? It's clearly was something because you was counting how much you spent. Yeah. So It hurt his heart. <laughs> Five Gs again. Five Gs is five Gs. Five Gs right. is five Gs. Bro. All right, we we running long, so uh, real quick, let's uh, let's get the the Last of Us. Um, spoilers. Episode. Oh, spoilers! 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 Spoilers up top. Spoilers. If you haven't seen episode two of The Last of Us Infected, uh, we're giving spoilers. All right. So Jesse, we haven't got your opinion on the show at all because you were in here the uh, the week one of the episode. So tell me what you think so far of the series and what you think of episode two. This shit is dope. Like I, I, you know, I never played Last of Us. I know okay. about the game, um, but I never played it. But it was it, this shit is dope, yo. Like it, it's interesting. It's a different, um, you know. People thought it was, like people that didn't know about it. I uh, thought it was a zombie game but, or a zombie movie, but it's, it's not or a show. I should say mm. so, zombie series, but it's not. It's a different take. It's I like the interesting idea of it's you know a fungus. And that's how like it they communicate with each other, and um, so it's it's gonna be interesting to see what comes. I I, I like this that Jesse doesn't know the Last of Us show because he doesn't know what's coming. This is great. Keep going. Uh, you know what's funny is um, we we all seen the second episode. I expected her to like, test. Like, yeah, test. Yeah, I was yeah. like yeah. R.I.P. Test. Because I don't. Because I remember. I'm like I don't remember her like in. At most, I've watched like trailers. Of so the in the game, like, she, she 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 dies very early in the game. Obviously, after very soon after they they leave the uh, the compound as well. I didn't think it was going to be two episodes of her. I thought it was going to be at least three episodes of her. So that was surprising to me. I knew as soon as like that's good. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> they getting straight to it. I think it's it's eight episodes or ten episodes. Do you guys remember? It has to be eight. I think. Okay. Yeah, because they're about. Stay close to like hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think I, I think I knew like the moment like she sat down and was like, oh, or she was like, I sprained my ankle. I think I knew what was up. Like I was like, oh, she got like it was obvious. And then she was just like not feeling them. Like she was just pissed off. So I was like, oh, she she definitely got infected. So mm. definitely saw that, but. I, I think it's it's great. I can't. I don't want to add much more because there's still so much more to like expect and so much more to uh, see. And since I don't really know the game like that, or, or the most I've watched is watch somebody playing. And it was dope when you posted that side by side of the game of how they uh, in, uh, uh, recreated that scene. Mm-hmm. It's dope. I do like that they are implementing new ideas, not just strictly going off the game. I, I love when shows do that, where but it doesn't take it off the rails, but it, it keeps it still. Uh, these things are just to improve the show. I watched the after. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, think, I think it's great. You know, I, I, you know, the first episode was amazing. They they set that father daughter episode, and then it just all shit went to hell. Um, I knew she was gonna die because it's just one of those. That's crazy. Like, How do you know she was gonna die? That's crazy. It's because I knew that the father son or the oh father, well, you know from the trailers that she's not there. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, oh. the father daughter makes it. Yeah, the father daughter aspect between them two was that I I, I could have been wrong. She could have been just like stayed at the camp, but just something tells me that you know she gets killed, and so but. It's still a great show. I think it's a great show. I'm 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 happy to see more. Uh Clips hasn't yet watched episode two, so but it's, he he's don't worry a, about that. Okay, go ahead. Go I'm ahead, gonna give a I'm gonna give a hot take. Please. You ready? Please. All right. So Last of Us. Walking Dead. It's too early in the game, man. Resident Evil. <laughs> Oh, Resident Evil is like... I, I told you I flame Resident Evil. I, I literally flame Resident Evil last episode. What are we Resident talking about? Resident Evil here? is under the ground. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just... I'm going based off of the strength of we video games that we've seen or oh, comics. Okay. Like, yeah. Last of Us, 
Walking Dead, Resident Evil. Resident oh. Evil, they're never they should never make a movie again because of what Last of Us is doing. Yeah, like, Resident like, Evil. Cin- cinematically it's alone. It's over. alone it's over. Cinematically alone is just I, blowing the roof off. I love Resident Evil so much. Yeah. I watched that awful one season of the Netflix Resident Evil series on Netflix. And it, it and have, some of it was some of it was okay. But it a lot of, I like the character though. I like the I like the her. But, to make it better and they just refuse. <laughs> they just right. refuse. They just want to go low budget bullshit. Like uh, agreed. Um is- I yeah. so I, I have notes. I have, I, okay. It's hard for me to say Walking Dead is below it though. It's it's still really early, but Walking so, Dead for so the first four seasons. The first four seasons of Walking Dead were really good. Acting wise, acting wise, and just sim- sim- like just storytelling wise, Last of Us is off to a great start. Last yeah. of Us. So Jesse, when I when when I was filling in for you last week, <laughs> um, I just want you to know. The 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 whole Walking Dead situation, right, is pretty simple. <laughs> this Last of Us one is more more on the in two episodes alone, it's already on the <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't. You might. Said, I might have to take your spot. I, I will. Stuff, right? I will cape for last. I will cape for the walk. First four seasons of Walking Dead. The first four oh, seasons thanks. were fucking great. Thanks. Once they got to Alexandria, shit got a little different, a little weird. Right. Nah, even before Alexandria. Before. No, the prison was cool. Everything in the prison was cool. Was that is it Alexandria right after the, the prison? prison? Yeah, right after the prison. That's when they. Oh, no, I thought they went to the tar. What is that called? Where they, where they? Oh, to- term the terminal play. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, 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 um, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe it, it's like- after they left the prison, they got back. Just, <laughs> you can just say that. Like, yeah. I, I love that in all like post apocalyptic storylines. Lines, they yeah. never they never leave a house they leave a compound yeah <laughs> it's always, but those are the ones that like since it's uh, but they did leave the farm they did, they did leave, leave the, the farm. farm well the farm got overrun farm, they, 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 they kind of had to leave the farm the farm got overran um it is all right so i wrote down notes as i do for the last of us which i put them in doing um i i've been liking the prologues of the last of us the first one was really good with the sit downs of them explaining the virus explaining the world explaining the rules um the second one for episode two infected was really good as well with the scientists uh uh, I think the name of the place that they were is was a uh, I, I can't even read my writing. Jar, J, Jakarta, Jakarta, Jakarta. Um, I like that they changed that the the virus is uh, in bread in flour. I think that's really cool because uh, how it emulates and, and correlates with the uh, the first episode. It's it's it says a lot of tales, especially the part where the old man was feeding the first infected old woman with bread saying, you want some biscuits? I thought that was pretty cool, pretty sweet. Um, like Jesse uh, hinted towards, I like that they, um, um, I, I like the no mask aspect because obviously in the game, it's a lot of Joel wearing a mask and Ellie not wearing a mask because obviously Ellie's uh, immune. Uh, but obviously I feel like that was just some agent shit where it was like, I don't want my actor wearing that. <laughs> Cause yeah. he already, or he already wanted were... to be too closely COVID ish. Yeah, that part. And also, I think uh, you know, shit. He wears a mask all up in on Mandalorian, so he, they wanted to not have a mask. He literally wears a mask this whole fucking series of Mandalorian. Um. Uh. What else? What else? Um. I like the uh, I like the change. Obviously, in them not having spores, I thought that was cool. I like that they made it a fungus that's underground. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I like. I even like the pad. Even though this part is crazy, the part where they showed all the infected laying down on the ground, and they and she was explaining to them how they're connected. That like literally, you step on one fungi, like it it can attract a whole lot of them. I think that's a fucking crazy sick element that that's I'm sure that's gonna come ahead. Uh, oh, then, um, Kev, the whole mask thing, it's simple. Uh, act, the actors don't want to cover their face. That's what I said. That's basically yeah, what I said. I was like, yeah, the agent probably yeah, was like, like yeah, yeah, I don't know, because like I said, that's Mando. That's Mando from the Mandalorian. He he wears a mask in his other freaking show. Yeah, he does. He's, he's not gonna wear a mask, and that's rare. 
for them to do that. They will change that real quick. I'm mm-hmm. not going to make you a star of a show and cover your face. 90% of the <laughs> cover show. Cover your like, face. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So um, just I that. like the, uh, this is a, I, re- I thought this was a really cool detail from the video games. I like that the flashlight was on the shoulders, just like the video game, just like little details of keeping it str- tr- true to the video game is again, I'm sure that's, that's just shit. Like us gamers or who played this game multiple, uh, many times really liked and enjoyed. Um, <laughs> I liked when she, ex- uh, I didn't like, let me tell you one thing I didn't like. I didn't like when Tess and Ellie were having the hard time where they were walking through uh, the city and she was, uh, Ellie was asking Tess about like the infected and the types of infected and he was, uh, they were explaining to him, uh, to explain it to her, um, the types of infected, how they, she didn't explain to them like what clickers was, how they explain with sound. And that would have been, I think that would have been very helpful, uh, later in the episode when she came across a clicker. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and then obviously and then the, get killed. <laughs> uh, I did like the, uh, I, I know a lot of people didn't like, it. I did like the kissing scene of, uh, when, uh, Tess got kissed by the, the infected that was in between a. Just, regular infected and a stalker so for those who don't know who aren't privy to the game the levels of infected in the game is regular infected which you obviously they just look like kind of zombies they have a little spiff and fungi on the face second level is stalkers which you'll i'm sure there'll be stalkers and i'm pretty sure there'll be stalkers in the next episode so i think that's gonna be cool then you have clickers who's been allowed around longer like you know three to five years in that range that, that that's why they got the hardened shell over their face and then after clickers you got boomers who you guys will see who <laughs> what, what they're about when <laughs> when you guys see them guys it just all freaks me out <laughs> uh, but when you see a boomer you know you've been you're walking into a place that's been infected for a very I long time i got a question for y'all because we we always do this every time there's a new zombie show or something like this a poc, poc, apocalyptic show yeah would you want to live through that? Nah, I'm cool. They, anytime the zombies run, I'm cool. Let me go. I'm, I'm cool. Like, yeah. I'm you know, but I feel like I'd survive. I've thought I've thought about places where I would go and yeah. uh, make my compound. Come out. I feel like and it, I, I, I was like literally I'd survive for a good while, but I'm just like, why would I want to? I, yeah. <laughs> like, I, Carolyn and I was literally talking about this, and obviously we have uh, Lennox, who is obviously a hyper child and can't be quiet. So I was like, yeah, you and I would have to fight the entire time because she wouldn't be able to be quiet. So we'd be it'd, we'd be fighting to the death because like we each other to. Sh- she would think it's a game and start laughing or screaming. <laughs> so we'd be dead. Even like we'd be, there'd be no way for us to be quiet. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for episode three. I already the episode. They're getting straight to it. I tell you that they're they're getting straight to the game. Uh, and I I can't wait for everybody to see this next character because he's fucking funny. Um, oh, they picked the perfect dude. Yeah, he he is fucking hilarious for this role um for the i don't remember the actor's name but i know he's the actor from parks and rec who plays that uh one dude and he's fucking funny as shit. Ron, i don't know if you guys watch parks and rec parks and rec ron. Like that. huh ron ron yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, fucking I, fucking funny uh all right man I th- we gone long already uh clips appreciate man you always coming in for the for the super clutch. help man clutch well, as I always you six man of the year you nah you man. That. You, yeah, you man. Clutch. Hey, man i'm here here i'm here <laughs> if we the splash brother you definitely jordan pool brother thank you <laughs> <I'm> like- <laughs> uh so uh shout out to everybody that's listening to the pod shout out to everybody that's on youtube again don't forget to like favorite and subscribe uh check us out on youtube check us out on social media on instagram check out our please interact with our reels follow us again uh we're those millennials uh shout out to everybody that's watching the shout out to the 49ers i want 49ers to win it all now all right everybody <laughs> Shout out to the, uh, those millennials and we're out.